everybody. Welcome back to EU4 Multiplayer, featuring yours truly, Bundeswehr Bob, Ben Magnus, and Midge Man. Say hello, gentlemen. Hello. Hello. I fought a very impotent war last episode against Venice because Hungary was like, Oop, Derek, Venice is <laughs> walking all over my territory, Bob. How am I going to do? I'm like, fine. White peace. But hey, now I'm at peace with all my neighbors, so that's really cool. And, I feel like... Uh, oh, sorry. Sorry, continue. Well, I'm at peace. I got peace treaties pairs with Savoy, Venice, and a couple of one province miners in the area. So I should be able to do other stuff to other people without too much interference. Salzburg, for example. Oh, that was such a yeah, good decision. Exactly. I just I decided to use the um, the estate um, interaction to grant a generalship, and I went from a a two zero zero to a three one five general. Wow. Thanks. Well, fire doesn't really mean much at this stage of the game. It's all about shock. No, yeah. You want shock pips. But but I still wow. have, I got one shock and one fire before I uh before Yo. well better than the last. Uh one nation's uh, got a like special armor set for their uh content pack this time because I don't oh, think I I've don't ever know. seen this Palatinate troop before and it looks awesome. Oh, I can't see. Uh I'd have to we'd have to look at it. Palatin well he's right there next to um uh if you go if you go to Gelray Right next to Midge's territory, there's the Palatinate troop right there. He well, does look I, pretty badass. I, I can't. I'm not allied with Midge right now, so I can't see it. God. Okay, for, for all those that want to see really cool units, you can watch me in <laughs> Midge's perspective. Go over to my channel. <laughs> well, I, I miss Max. Midge's channel is dumb because you can't see the Palatinate. Your channel is dumb. Your channel is bad, and you should feel bad. See here, I'm going to up my army maintenance. All right, so I got three thousand more troops. Unlawful territory. Midge, man, I could demand things from you. <laughs> I know you can. Oh, gracious one. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. I'm in charge. Look at me. I'm the captain now. You always were the captain. Captain Bob. Look, the only time I've ever played Austria, actually, is when I did it in that community event. And I was very gracious as a bohemian ally. Until about three episodes of that later. Look, that was so, a different session. That, okay, that technically was a different scenario. I will give you that. So you know, the Ottomans were like, "Hey, you know, Venice or uh, Austria, we can be friends." Where is East Frisia? Uh, East of Frisia. <laughs> where's Where's Frisia no. proper? <laughs> it's East Frisia is uh, it's uh, Ostima. Uh, uh, it's, a, it's in Osterfriesland. It's next to me. Go to Friesland. And it's the okay. orange one to the right of it. East Frisia. It's in Osterfriesland. Oh, Oster there it is. Okay, so yes. if I go to war with Frisia, Verden and East Frisia will, will join me. But I can get Mecklenburg on my side. Well, I could, technically, I could, t I could ask the Emperor for his assistance. Albania has a disputed succession, apparently. I, I really like, like I... the I really, really like the Kandatieri pop up that comes up now. What is mm. it? Well, it tells you it, countries wish to hire Kandatieri, and it tells you exactly the following countries are likely to accept Kandatieri offers, provide your troops, and ac have access to them. Mm -hmm. Like you can't see that at the top. I can. Can you see it, Ben? Where? It's like a little speech bubble with a soldier in it. Where all the oh pop -ups yeah, yeah. Are. countries wish to hire Kandatieri. Yeah, uh, the following I'm countries really... are likely to accept. Yeah, I'm really happy that's a thing now because before you weren't able to discern like who was wanted Kandatieri and you were kind of, Well, yeah, it was just a guessing game. It's just like, okay, so who wants to actually hire Kandatieri? Because the whole idea with Kandatieri is that you're renting your army out, making some spare ducats on the side while you're at peace and provide some stuff for you to do while at peacetime, right? So mm -hmm. now that's a thing. I'm I'm very pleased. I mean, I haven't rented my Kandati my anti troops out yet, but but so help them the day I do. I'm going to do it right now. Trier wants some men. I'm, I'm really nervous about attacking Pomerania because they're going to bring in two allies. Although if I, if I, uh, Austria declared war on Salzburg. I don't know what you're talking about. Uh, what, what's wrong with Salzburg? It's like the Luxembourg of Austria currently, just sitting there. So look, they, 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 their Luxembourg. people are shouting out for Austrian subjugation. And I thought I would, uh, you know, um, nobility influence is greater than 80. Oh, really? That gave them too much power. Oh, it's exactly 80. How can I get that? Will that decay out? Or do I just have to change up the land? 
Influence wants to settle at like 50 or 40 or something like that. So it will eventually pull itself there. But oh, um, don't last... don't ever don't ever though if you if you want to avoid like the shit storm, I I would advise not just taking land away from them willy nilly because <laughs> their loyalty will tank. They're like, what have you done? And they'd be yeah. like, I'm sorry. Well, like like, it, like it, the looming disaster hit uh, you know starts ticking up if they have influence of eighty or above and they have exactly eighty. So let's see in in ten in ten years. It'll drop 20%, and it should... It'll decay out slowly, you say? It should say on the thing. And a state yeah. influences the power they wield. Controlled provinces, 40%. Base, 40%. Controlled... Granted generalship, 20%. The archbishoprics in, um, like... Maybe it's West, a little too West, thinking Westphalia of. area have also got some slightly different uh, unit... Uh, unit... Uh, All right, I think looks. I think I just need to bite the bullet with Pomerania here. You outnumber them by three thousand troops. I mean, I mean the only thing that I I do differently personally is that I stack up my cavalry first, so I have four regiments of cavalry. Because mm -hmm. because you know sh shock is king in, at the beginning of the game, right? King shock, yeah. king, king shock. That's right. So uh, and you know cavalry are all about that shock. So. Uh, what else? Well, I could get more, one more if what I take a loan. So I'll take a loan. And I'll bring in some Latin knights. No, don't don't take mercenaries that aren't soldiers. <laughs> just infantry. That's They're so expensive. Yeah, I know. Well, I'm, I'm not taking mercenaries. I'm just r recruiting some. Ugh. I mean, if I take what, you know, their, their influence should go down. Well, if if I take more land, because then the total amount of land is lower, so they won't have as large of a percentage, I think. If I understand that correctly, which there's a chance I don't. Yeah. And by a chance, I made a very high chance. I should probably wait till the quarrying of New Mark finishes before I declare war too. No, because they're only going to get stronger. He's got a point. I just want to watch Brandenburg beat people up. Come on, that's what you do. I, well, I've never, I never played Europe. I'm not a Western power kind of guy. Oh yeah, and you have very little aggressive expansion now, so uh, it, 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 you can actually. Well, do I'm it waiting. Well. I'm waiting a month for the new, the new, um, the Knights of Sternberg to uh, arrive. Sternberg. Well, come. On, oh, that's a cool night. The Knights of Sternberg. Sternberg's first Ulhads. Better than Knights of Limpberg. <laughs> What's Gelray's next move? Uh, I, I'm coring Utrecht right now. I'm thinking of going to war with Munster. Munster. So if you're pronouncing Dutch names, you just say it like you have like a mouthful of spaghetti? That'd be <laughs> Italian, surely. <laughs> oh, cultural relevant insults. <laughs> hey, I, I'm of Dutch descent, apparently. Do you, apparently where are your you sorters, didn't know bitch? that. No, well, because it's going back long ways, and like that entire side of my family. Are you, is... are you assisting in another war right now? Uh, oh, you rented I'm... your troops out? Yeah, I've rented my troops out. I um, mm. I'm helping Trier because I thought, hey, let's rent the rent troops to the people that are cu currently cleaving open a nation. Yeah, Brandon declared war upon Brandon. Yeah, chase them down like <laughs> the dogs they are. They have a better jet. Oh, I'm losing. No re reinforcements came. Yay, I'm winning. Oh, Mecklenburg's your ally? Yes. Oh, look at that. I usually don't ally Mecklenburg. I usually eat them. Nom, 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 nom. Nom, 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 So what is this oh, war yeah. for? Conquest of Kohlberg. I'm currently just stealing lots of money from Frankfurt. It's glorious. Well, I'm going to take Kohlberg. I'm going to try to take Stolp, too. Because ni nice enough. That, oh, uh, I am so fucked. What? <laughs> they got 20,000 troops. <laughs> oh, dear. <laughs> oh, Where the fuck so are they getting 20,000 troops from? That is so unfortunate. Well, god damn it. Oh. Uh, where where uh, in the name of God did they get this many troops? I'll take out that 1,000. Yeah. Eat it. Well, Ishfrisia had 7,000 troops. Verdun probably had about the same. Now they're just standing there, though. 
Oh, I'm no longer getting spoils of war. Who that wants to I'm rent me free Condontieri? Anybody? Anybody, Bob? 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 Um, Bob. Emperor's, Emperor's kind of, he's out to lunch right now. <laughs> Emperor's not Can taking calls. Later. I mean, if you can siege out their capital. Well, that's what uh, Mecklenburg's trying right now. Well, then I would go ahead and just fully siege their country. Remember, if you got them fully sieged, they are more apt for whatever peace treaty you want to lay upon them. Plus, if you can last five years, uh, you can... Um, well, it seems like they're they don't, sieged. they're not terribly interested in actually committing to a battle, which is what I'm liking right now. They're just sitting there. Okay, they would come. Good to know. And and I mean, Pomerania, I think, was the worst thing because they had a tier two general right off the bat, which is why I almost lost, even though I had more troops. Uh, rifle All right, they're trying. They're trying to land some troops now. So I'll I'll kill those one thousand men and feel good about myself. <laughs> Jeez. Yeah, 990 men. Stack wiped. Bitches. <laughs> it hasn't moved off negative 21% yet. Did you lose a battle? Oh no, the um I I'm at plus 12% right now. The uh the siege of their pro of their of their capital of Stetton. <laughs> it's been sitting uh, at 21% for several months now. I like Angie's paradoxes um comment he's just put in the uh office office room <laughs> what do you say <laughs> Sch scheduling related oh. i'm not sure if you want to repeat it out loud well, yeah, I'll, yeah, I'll, no. I'll go i'll go look oh <laughs> if they split if they keep splitting up their troops then i'm fine and i can take them out one at a time all right stulp Stulp. Stulp. Stulpe. Okay, well, I'm at 20% now. Mm. And it looks like they're abandoning Rupin. Ruppin. So I, Ruppin. They've got 19,000 troops in the field. And if I can take out one army, that'll be in a much better... Well, that one's going to come back on its own, but I can help. Vigianagar Vigi has just become a great power. Oh, Jesus Christ. Really? Hmm. Dang, Go not, India. Not, not Castile. I mean, who's Vienegar? Oh, yeah. yeah the, <laughs> whoever they are. I don't know who that is. Huagar? What is a Ming? Well, we would have heard of Ming by this period. I would hope. Only 14, in legend. 1450. Legend foretold. Because there would be like me, uh, like, uh, like the whole crockery and stuff that came through. That's right, Trier. You let that go. You put that Cry. down. Oh, okay, cool. You've released Cleaves. There's something else for me to eat. Okay, we're 24%. <laughs> Damn it, I just, just released that. <laughs> <laughs> well, I was, I was hoping that Trier would only take Berg, uh, but they took both bits, and I was like, um, excuse me. Yes, I am, I am pulling all those strings to make sure. I'm actually not going to be... Brandenburg is actually going to be the next Emperor here. Your roles oh. are bad, and you should feel bad. Oh, really? That's yeah. fine. Austria's okay not being Emperor. But I, I want to be the emperor. If I could take out oh. that army, then I Stop should be good. Stop vassalizing electors, then. I haven't vassalized any electors. No, 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 oh, no. Dog Instead, pile on me, goddammit. Then you'll always be emperor. Oh, oh, Ben. Oh. Yeah, I lost. I, I can see Ben's army getting crushed. Yeah. Oh, there and they're going to they're gonna attack me again. Yeah, they're going to stack wipe you. Ooh. Hey, Brunswick's got that new troop. Look, I think peace out, been peace out, peace there out. Must have been some I, HRE, um, oh, they abandoned the siege of the capital. Then there must have been some HRE unit you pack. Should, you should peace pause, out. Pause, pause the gun. Pause, pause, pause. <laughs> oh, this is God glorious. damn it! <laughs> they fucking stack wiped me. Oh. What is the suggested offer? Give them some money and that's it. Okay. Yeah, take are, you, it. are you at negative war score? No, I'm at positive 17. You should have he has no anything. army. No, they, they won't take it. He mm. has no army. They know they're going to win. Yes. They stack wiped me completely. 
Hey, so I guess I just give them I give them money. All right, unpause. Am I at my? No, I'm not at my diplomatic limit. So uh, I'm gonna put a speed three for Ben. Yeah, I yeah. lost my entire army. Yeah, I'm just making claims right now, so I don't need. Slow. Well, I'm fucked. <laughs> <laughs> well, the emperor uh, refused to help me. I didn't get a thing any, at, at all. I asked you if you would, and you said no. Well, I, I can't join in wars between HRE members anyway, as the emperor. I asked you for Kong Dantieri. Oh, well, I... Must have missed that one. Silver-tongued. I have better relations over time now. Oh, uh, that's bad. Hey, temples. Well, yeah, I should tech just, up. Uh, just started doing that myself here. Yep. I don't mind all those extra ducats from the temples. Well, so Maybe much for that. that general. He was a waste. Strengthen government. No, I don't need to do that. It's a cool idea, though. It makes... Nobody I touched can't... Brandenburg. It doesn't have an army. The don't government. don't look at me. Don't touch me. Don't do anything. Oh, you know what's, what? What what sucked too is that I was watching the siege of um, of uh, of Stettin, and it was like they were Mecklenburg was rolling like two, three, one. All the rolls were super low. If it was better rolls, it wouldn't have been a big deal. Oh God, I forgot how piss poor the income is over in the Netherlands early game. Yeah, it's not so good. Uh, my income with with no army whatsoever is 0. 0.5. Well, you're, are you paying uh, more reps one, too? Or? 1. Yeah. 1.18. Secrets in our alliance. I'm building Botas. Um, I don't think so. I thought I just gave them money. Uh, so. Advisor, state maintenance, interest, fort maintenance. That's it. The Renaissance! Huzzah! This I was literally about to say, when when is the Renaissance going to come It's right now. Right now. Right now. Yeah. Since the 14th century, the wealthy and powerful in the Italian city-states have been patronizing artists. Patronizing. Well, you don't have to be mean about it. <laughs> and scholars are willing to explore that. I, it's not actually what it means right there with patronizing. I know. It's, I know. To explore old Roman and Greek societies of their forefathers. I'm not going to read the rest of it, but it's just a little bit of background on the Renaissance and such. So this is where... There's actually a new map mode, too, which is the uh, institution map mode, which should be default for everybody on their bar. And you can see with this map mode, which I have up now, it's going to show you how far institutions have spread. And so feudalism is currently what we all have. Everybody has feudalism, except for some of these backwards nations down here, I guess. And Where? over here with the hordes. Oh, there it is. It's the book. I got it. Yeah, I, I don't have it, naturally. Hmm. So uh, the yellow means that it's feudalism. You currently have that. Then the green stripes is going to be, hey, the Renaissance is starting to spread, is what it is. And that In Berlin. Um, I'm not 100% sure how to encourage more Renaissance to happen. His origin is Milan right now. Yep. Okay. So uh, if you go feudalism, uh, if there's an institutions thing on the technology screen as well. Yeah, so it's going to be the little, if you go to the technology screen, there's going to be the top left-hand corner, there's going to be a little book, show institutions. All right, when so... embraced, minus 5% bill costs. Oh, that's cool. Presence in Brandenburg. Seven embraced in seven of seven provinces, totaling 100% of Brandenburgian development. I'm going to turn this down to just speed one, let, let it tick by. There's a 10% uh, in institution spread right now. So okay. my country is 100% embraced in feudalism. Mm -hmm. At the moment. So feudal, so barbaric. Which, which, which gives you leaders without upkeep plus one. Yeah. So I guess it's just got to naturally spread now. I mean, it's like pretty much everybody ha is, is like down with the feudalism. Well, yeah, we're just emerging out of the, you know, dark age, feudal age, middle medieval ages, you know, so. Yeah. So your build cost. I don't know why. I don't know if this is a bug or not. Because but it says Entvik Lungs cost, which is actually development cost. I think Ben looked it up just before yeah. we started recording. Yeah. I think that might that might just be because we are on a review build here, folks. When we're mm -hmm. um, playing this right now, so there are going to be some little things here and there that aren't quite finished or misspelling stuff like that. I think that just might be 
uh, one of those little mistakes right there. But hopefully that'll be fixed for the the main game. But when it finally releases on the eleventh, right? Uh huh. Hmm. I think so. <laughs> yes. So your embracement costs. So so in order to embrace it, if you have if you have positive prestige, you actually get a uh, a uh, uh, discount on embrace cost. Oh. Yeah, because it says embracement cost here for uh, Renaissance. And I, I got minus 3.4%. Yeah, I get minus 3.7. And I have plus 0. 0.01 because I have negative one prestige. <laughs> hey, that was an event that fired in like the first like week of the game. That has nothing to do with anything else. Oh, that's so unfortunate. <laughs> so the Renaissance oh. is spreading from Milan. Yeah. And uh, is there a way to look at like how fast that's happening? When embrace build cost. I don't know why it says that in in German. Because why not? Eh? Oh, it actually shows on the map that it's coming from here. Hey, yeah, his face. Tech. There's a face. Six percent with point one seven. Is there a way to look how fast? fast it's spreading like what's like if, if every like if it ticks every month like what's the i don't know oh, i have three allies that are unwilling to come into this war unless i give them land is it a one province miner you're trying to fight no it's a it's a three three provincer well how many allies do you have uh, three of them all of them want land <laughs> they give oh. them each one province oh <laughs> No, it's kind, of like, it's kind of like Ben like cooking a really great meal for like dinner, like inviting his friends over for dinner so they can all eat, but only his friends eat. <laughs> yeah. he, he just kind of watches them eat. <laughs> oh, here we go. Spread modifier. All modifiers expecting affecting spread of Renaissance. European ten development province. European twenty development province. Okay, so you have to build tall. Okay. Okay. All right. So if you want it to spread faster, if I'm reading this right, anyway. Mm hmm. If you want to spread faster, then you have to start pumping points into development. Okay, I have a 15. So and there's a, a that's 17. nice, an added benefit to building tall rather than wide. Well, that's something that has been desperately missing because development, when it was first introduced, everyone was like, oh, this is actually pretty neat. This is a cool yeah. idea. Let's go ahead and make sure we have more manpower, more tax base, we produce better, that kind of stuff. But the cost of it was uh you know like i i have i it's far better hey. for me to spend these points either going for like more tech or getting ahead of my ideas as opposed mm -hmm. to you know actually worrying about you know any of this development here i should just paint the map whatever color my country is to get more development anyway mm -hmm. so something interesting just popped up on on my end so you know in ck2 how like if you have a specific trait it unlocks additional options when um like events fire yes yeah well, it's like you can do this because you're cynical or because you're a kinslayer or something like that. That's not a thing in here. Yes. Mm. So like I had like there should be a stable government just fired for me, which is either lose 50 admin power or lose 10 prestige, which is what cost me the 10 prestige before. But now because uh, Friedrich II is silver tongued, I can convince them there is uh, there's need for these policies and only lose five diplo power rather than 50 admin or 10 prestige. Is the nation of Austria doing anything right now? Uh, he's lining up for a war against Switzerland. Oh, damn it. Why well, Bran that? Brandenburg is, is 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 pretty fucked right now. <laughs> just, uh, just, just we're, actually, we're actually up against time right now anyway, so awesome. we're going to have to end the episode here. If you're enjoying the series, please remember to like and subscribe on our, our, our uh, respective channels, as well as view how fucked up Ben got in yeah. first person on his screen. I, I anticipate watching that later. That should be pretty good. <laughs> Yeah, I'm um, looking forward I got, to that one. <laughs> it's only episode two. You don't have to go very far. Pop the popcorn early. That's all I got to say for that one. Mm -hmm. Thanks for watching, everybody, and we'll catch you later. Okay, bye. bye. bye.